This is the final video of our three-part series. We will explore the major forms of anxiety and their treatments. If you'd like more information about the brain areas affected in anxiety and depression, please see part one of our video series. If you'd like more information about depression, please see part two of our video series. There are five different types of anxiety, which are all listed below. Now we will explore each type individually. The first form of anxiety is called generalized anxiety disorder. It is characterized by chronic anxiety, exaggerated worry, and tension, even when there is little or nothing to provoke these feelings. We will now discuss the common treatments for generalized anxiety disorder. These treatments include selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs, selective norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, or SNRIs, buspirone, pregabalin, and benzodiazepines. One of the most commonly used drugs to treat generalized anxiety disorder are SSRIs. These drugs block the transporter that recycles the hormone serotonin in the brain. By blocking the transporter, it allows serotonin to act in the brain for longer periods of time. A common theory behind the cause of generalized anxiety disorder suggests that there is an imbalance of hormones in the mesolimbic system. Therefore, increasing the amount of serotonin allowed to act in the brain will result in increased happiness, increased ability to maintain a good mood balance, and better regulation of the sleep-wake cycle. SNRIs block the transporters that recycle the hormones serotonin and norepinephrine in the brain. This allows serotonin and norepinephrine to provide brain signals for an extended period of time. Thus, just like the SSRIs, SNRIs help to restore balance in the mesolimbic system. This results in increased mood regulation, increased alertness and arousal, and increased ability to concentrate. Another drug commonly used to treat generalized anxiety disorder is buspirone. Buspirone acts by binding to the serotonin receptors in the brain, causing increased production of serotonin. It also helps to stimulate the production of dopamine by binding to the dopamine receptors, but this happens to a lesser extent. Increasing the amount of dopamine and serotonin in the brain results in increased happiness, increased ability to regulate mood, increased regulation of the sleep-wake cycle, and increased alertness and arousal. Pregabalin is a drug that binds to the calcium channels found in the brain. After binding to the calcium channels, it stimulates increased production of glutamate, norepinephrine, serotonin, and dopamine, which are all stimulatory hormones. This results in increased mood regulation and decreases the feelings of anxiety. Benzodiazepines can also be used to treat generalized anxiety disorder. Benzodiazepines increase the frequency of chloride channels opening in the brain. The more the chloride channels open, the more the hormone GABA is produced. GABA is an inhibitory hormone that works in the limbic system and in the reticular formation. Both of these areas of the brain are involved in the mesolimbic system. The production of GABA makes the cells in the brain unable to be excited and therefore they have to be in a resting state. This results in reduced anxiety, relaxation of muscles, and a decrease in the time it takes to fall asleep. The second anxiety disorder that we will talk about is called obsessive compulsive disorder but is most commonly referred to as OCD. This disorder is characterized by recurrent unwanted thoughts called obsessions and or repetitive behaviors called compulsions. The compulsions are often performed with the hope of preventing obsessive thoughts or in hope that they will go away altogether. The compulsions provide temporary relief from the obsessions, but not performing the compulsions drastically increases anxiety. The common treatments for OCD include SSRIs, which we previously discussed, tricyclic antidepressants, and SNRIs, which we have also discussed. Using SSRIs and SNRIs in obsessive compulsive disorder allows the balance of serotonin and norepinephrine to be restored in the mesolimbic system. The other class of drugs commonly used to treat OCD are called tricyclic antidepressants. 
These drugs act in the brain to increase the production of norepinephrine and serotonin. It also blocks the hormone acetylcholine from being produced. Overall, these actions cause increased mood regulation, increased regulation of the sleep-wake cycle, increased alertness and arousal, and increased ability to concentrate on the task in front of you. It is important to note that tricyclic antidepressants are not used as commonly as the newer drugs such as SSRIs and SNRIs due to their harmful side effects. The next disorder we will discuss is called panic disorder. It is characterized by unexpected and repeated episodes of intense fear along with physical symptoms including chest pain, heart palpitations, shortness of breath, dizziness, or abdominal pain. These are many of the same symptoms one would find when having a heart attack. However, patients with panic disorder are just under an extreme amount of anxiety. The common treatments for panic disorder include SSRIs, tricyclic antidepressants, benzodiazepines, all of which have previously been discussed. The other common treatment are monoamine oxidase inhibitors. The goal of the drugs that we have previously discussed are to help bring back into balance the hormones in the mesolimbic system. If the balance occurs, the mesolimbic system will not be overwhelmed with signals of anxiety. Monoamine oxidase inhibitors, or MAOIs, prevent the breakdown of the hormones norepinephrine, serotonin, and dopamine. This allows there to be more of these hormones working in the brain for a longer period of time. This causes an increased ability to concentrate, increased mood regulation, increased alertness and arousal, better control of the sleep-wake cycle, and increased pleasure in movement. It also helps to decrease the feelings of panic. Post-traumatic stress disorder, or more commonly PTSD, is characterized by anxiety that can develop after exposure to a terrifying event or ordeal in which grave physical harm was endured or threatened. It is commonly seen in military veterans. The treatments for PTSD include SSRIs, SNRIs, alpha adrenergic receptor blockers, and benzodiazepines. The goal of the three treatments previously discussed are to reduce the feelings of anxiety often caused by an imbalance in the mesolimbic system. Alpha adrenergic receptor antagonists block the receptors for norepinephrine in the brain. This causes there to be less norepinephrine acting. Norepinephrine is responsible for the fight or flight response often exhibited in episodes of PTSD. These drugs result in muscle relaxation, decreased nightmares, and decreased sleep disruption. The last anxiety disorder that we will discuss is called social anxiety disorder. It is characterized by overwhelming feelings of anxiety and excessive self-consciousness when in everyday social situations. The medications for social anxiety disorder have already been discussed, but they include SSRIs, SNRIs, MAOIs, and benzodiazepines. All of these drugs work to regulate the balance of hormones in the mesolimbic system so that the brain does not perceive feelings of anxiety and panic. We have now explored all major forms of anxiety. We hope to have conveyed that anxiety is often caused by an imbalance in the mesolimbic system. However, every person's anxiety is different and can be treated differently. This means that someday there could be a treatment for anyone with any form of anxiety.